Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is YSR and today, today I'm here to help you with a problem that a lot of us face in our lives and everybody does face this problem. I mean, imagine, just think about it. How many times have you broken your phone screen and there is some important data inside your phone's memory and your phone does not have a removable storage like an SD card or something like that and you really need the storage files or you have just you just have a phone lying around and you want to use it you want to use it for something you want to see if it works before you can get a screen replacement or you just want to upgrade that phone or you just want to do some experiments with your phone today i'm gonna show you a method you with which you can be able to do that i've also uploaded a video i did that along around one year ago and um uh, people are telling me that that method doesn't work anymore I haven't tried it because this method only works on Android devices and I have moved on to an iPhone right now so this is why I cannot try it myself but I verified it using my friends phones uh, they're using Androids right now and this new updated method works right now it completely works it's 100% legitimate and it's this is not a fake video this is a real video it works so all you have to do is follow the steps in the video and you will be able to control it just one disclaimer there is just one requirement your phone's battery should be fine i mean the usual you know your, your phone should be able to power on even if you cannot see the screen or anything you should uh, the phone should be able to power on but the big thing is that android debugging must be enabled on your device if you do not know if it's enabled or not, you can go ahead with this method. If it's enabled, it will work. If it's not enabled, this method will not work. But basically, this will not work without Android debugging enabled. This is what you have to keep in mind. This is what I said in the starting of the previous video and this is what I'm going to say right now. Android debugging has to be enabled. So let me just explain what Android debugging is. So basically the permission to access the internal data of your phone like the schematics what the processor is doing where you where you touch the phone and how to respond to that that is normally in the hands of the phone's operating system it's not in your hands you give the input the phone accesses it android debugging allows a computer your computer to do that for you instead of the phone so Android debugging has to be enabled if you want to try this on your device uh, and if you can use your phone if it's completely fine you can enable it by going to developer settings on your phone I can give you a tutorial on how to do that uh, it'll be in the video description below so without further ado I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so this is what you do you open Chrome on your computer it doesn't matter if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac computer. I'm using Mac right now. But you can use Windows too. Wiser works for every operating system. You can even use Linux if you want. So, and then just go to wiser.io. Let's open this website and then choose the download button. There's a button to download over here. Just click this button and then choose your operating system you can use chrome os linux mac and windows mac is highlighted for me already because i'm using mac os right now so i would do that and click the download button once the file has been downloaded open wiser and install it i have already installed it uh, when i was demoing it for the first time so go ahead and do this right now this is the only thing that you have to do in the previous version of the video there was mm, so much uh, difficult things that you had to do and most people did not understand the command line operations that you had to do with cmd uh, you don't have to do any of it with this version over here because this doesn't require you to do anything this automatically does everything for you so all you have to do is click the download button, choose your operating system and install the file. Once you're done installing the file, open Wiser. Okay, so we're gonna install this file. 
it's over here just copy it to the applications folder if you have Mac or if you have Windows just double click the file and this will be installed so I have Wiser over here in my desktop applications as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and open it it's gonna take a while for the first time and click open and this is the screen that you will be greeted with once you install Wiser once you open Wiser this is what will be in front of you so after this all you have to do is just connect your Android device to your computer and it will show up over here for me it is saying that no device is found make sure Android debugging is enabled this is because I do not have an Android device right now. I do not use any Android devices anymore. I used to do it, but I do not do it anymore. I moved on to an iPhone. I own an iPhone 10 right now. If I had an Android device, I would show it to you, but I do not right now. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, if you once you connect your Android device to your computer, it will show up over here, and just like the previous method. Just click on the Android device and you will be able to control it any way you want. You will be able to copy your data, you will be able to access your data and you will be even be able to send your data to other devices if you wish to do so. This is one way you can do it. This is a really easy way and it does work. I'm sorry I do not have an Android device with me right now but this this is a method that does work it works for everybody visor i've used visor a lot of times in the past with my broken android phones i used to have like a big bag of broken android phones and visor helped me with all of them so all you have to do after this step is just connect your android device it will show up over here and you'll be good to go Thank you for watching the video guys and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or anything to say about the video please comment below and please subscribe to my channel it's gonna help me a lot it motivates me a lot to make new videos and if you want me to make a video or something else you can also do that just write in the comment section and I'll do it for you guys I'll see you in the next one peace